Hello and welcome to the 700 basic video. In this video we are going to work a bit more on how you press a button and how you can interact a bit more with the application. We are also going to introduce a new object called edit view. It is a text field that you can change the text inside by typing in something. And we are going to make so when you press a button that that text is going to go over to another text view, so the text changes place to another object. I'm going to fast forward while I create a project and a button that reacts to a click. So if you have missed how to do that, just go back to the fifth video where I show you how to create a button that reacts to a button click. So bear with me while I fast forward the process. There we go, I have now created a button that reacts to when you click it. So we're going to go into our main.xml and create a text field. In this field we will be able to type something, some kind of text. We're going to set the ID of the text field to et. So et, let's call it edit me. This is text we will edit. And then we might as well just remove this. This will make the edit text field request the focus so that immediately when you get into the application the keyboard will show up. But we don't want that. So let's see, we are going to create another text view which is going to be on top of this one. I'm going, to, going to get back here, going to form widgets and then put in a text view. We're going to remove the text, give it an ID of TV text or text view text, and then we're going to set Android, sorry, Android. Let this just give me a second. We are going to set the visibility of our text view to invisible. So let's set it to gone. If we set it to invisible, it will still take up space up here. If we set it to gone, the space up here won't be taken over by the invisible text view. I'm gonna check if I can give you an example. We're going to set a text for our text view. For example, hello, I am invisible. We're not 100% sure if it will show up here. Okay, it doesn't, that's good. And if we type invisible, It's still invisible, but it takes up the space, and we don't want that, so we are going to set it to gone. And then we are going to get into our Java file, and going to create two new objects. Edit view, edit me. This is going to be the... Sorry about that, it should be edit text. It's easy to mix it up, so let's do this. Just going to do the same as we did when we defined our button. Going to retrieve the ID of our edit view. R.ID. Let's just see if the project is coming. So if your project, if you can't find ID, it means that your project hasn't been built. In order to fix that, you have to go into project to either set it to build automatically or build project. I usually have my automatically off because I'm working on big projects and it takes a lot of time if I want to edit one small thing. So when you're done with what that what with what you want to, just go and build your project. And it should hopefully be able to find the new IDs. So for our edit text we want ET edit me. And for our text view uh, TV text I just say text equals to Text view, find view by ID, 
r.id.tvText. And then we just need to import the object. So we now have, now have all of our objects imported. So what do we want to do when we actually click the button? Well, first of all, we want to set the text view to visible. When you want to refer to an object that you have created, this will be the name of the object in the Java project. So if you, if you want to change anything in the object, you have to type text for the name and then dot, and you will see all of the functions. So we are going to look if we and see if we can set the visibility here, and we're going to set it to we're going to set this to view dot visible, and we have we actually have to set this to final. It means that it can be accessed through the entire project, so we can have it inside of here. If you wouldn't have this final over here, we could only edit the text inside this method. This is another method which doesn't really concern this object, so we wouldn't be able to edit it inside of this unless we set it to final. Sorry about missing that, but we will have to set final for our edit text also. So what we're going to do is that we're going to set the text inside our edit text object to the text of our text view. In order to do that, we go we type this text dot. Might as well just type it out instead of looking it up. Text set text. And the text is going to be edit me dot get text. Get text over here. What it does is that it retrieves the text of our edit me object, which is an edit you. So usually if you want to get something from an object, for example edit me you type get first and if you want to switch change anything for example the text you, you search for set we might also change another thing for example the size of our text so set text size let's set it to for example 24 dp oh, sorry Set it to 24. That should change the size of our text. We are now going to see if our project works. Here we go. As you can see, our text view should be on top of here, but it is currently invisible. If I press this button, it becomes visible, but we haven't entered any text, so the text doesn't show up anymore. If you remember, we actually set the text to something in the beginning, but since we didn't type anything in this box, it, re it simply removed the text. So we are going to type, for example, hello. And then we're going to press the button change text, and it takes the exact words. We might even want to try capitals. As you can see, it works perfectly. So that's how you actually change another object inside the Java code. To do something else. That was all for this video. Thank you a lot for watching. I will upload the source code soon and I will comment every line I have edited. So look out for that if you run into any problems. If that doesn't help just post a comment below and I will help you as soon as I can. So thank you a lot for watching once again. If you like my videos please subscribe and maybe give it a thumbs up. So thank you a lot for watching. Bye bye.